the 2013 measles outbreak a fail a failing vaccine not a failure to vaccinate you know and, and uh, it was it's a fabulous uh, article and, and what i find interesting when the so-called quote pro vacciners put out an article there's no references no reference to the data, no reference to where it come from. When the vacciners, the anti-vacciners put out, they've got 10,000 references. <laughs> you can't even get through all the references. And, and, and in this outstanding review, you know, um, uh, they, uh, they talk about uh, all the failed, uh, all the, uh, the outbreaks of measles in the last 20 years, Texas 1985, Montana 1985, Colorado 1988, Quebec, 1989, 1992, Cape Town, and virtually all these children were totally vaccinated. You know, uh, and it goes along with what Dr. King told us a few weeks ago that um, uh, that the the vaccines, uh, as the drug companies themselves say, only have temporary, at best case scenario, they work for four years, five years, six years, and so you know when they're talking about giving vaccinated people as teenagers. We've had a whole population that have been so-called, quote, un, unimmune or, 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 or unvaccinated against any of these diseases. The only way to get true immunity is through natural immunity, you know. Uh, and, and, uh, and so they don't bother ever to tell you that these, all these outbreaks, um, the children were almost 100% vaccinated. You know, it's just uh, mind-boggling. Mayor, you know, it's interesting. When I was doing my early research as a parent, and I wasn't even thinking about going to law school at that time, I was uh, I found interesting information on the, the measles vaccine about a lot of outbreaks in the 80s and exactly what you were saying, uh, that there were uh, happening in highly vaccinated populations. In fact, the CDC documented one instance of an outbreak in a 100% vaccinated population. Well, there were some folks who did a meta-study looking collectively at the studies that were documenting measles outbreaks in highly vaccinated populations. And that meta-study concluded that as measles immunization rates rise, measles becomes a disease of vaccinated people. I thought that was a real oh, interesting that's a beautiful, uh, conclusion. Oh, beautiful, beautiful statement, yeah. You know, uh, wow. I mean, just, you know... Uh, uh, you know, I, I, I want to make one thing perfectly clear, <laughs> which is an expression I absolutely hate. Uh, uh, and I'll speak for you, Alan. <laughs> also, Mayor and Alan don't believe these are wonderful diseases. And no one should believe that we think these are great things to get, you know. Uh, uh, um, n no, uh, unfortunately, the diseases they've taken and vaccinated against really represents a fraction of any death in any any population in, in any of the the um, um, in, of the advanced uh, worlds, you know. Uh, um, um, but the question is: Is the treatment worse than the disease? I think that's the whole issue. You know, uh, uh, one of the uh, one of the absolute Hippocratic principles of medicine: above all, do no harm. You know, and, and that's a principle that's been violated over and over again. And there's a refusal to admit that there's even the least bit of any side effect from any vaccine. You know, and, and I think that's what infuriates uh, people who really do the research and, and look and read all the article, articles as much as possible. How is it possible that the, the, uh, the media, the medical organizations, are saying these vaccines have no problem where the companies that make them, Merck, Eli Lilly, uh, um, on their own handouts claim there's side effects. Now, that doesn't mean that they say the side effects are worse than the disease, but to make the statement that these vaccines are perfectly safe, as the media does, or the medical associations, is blatantly malpractice. <laughs> 